I've got a secret about autism that's going to blow your mind. Are you ready? So we all know that kids are usually diagnosed with autism when they're young, right? But did you know that when they turn 18, they're still autistic? Hey Treasure Family, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Autism Mom and on this channel we talk about autism and everything in between. Today we're doing another fair use reaction video. Let's take a look at the video. I've got a secret about autism that's going to blow your mind. Are you ready? So we all know that kids are usually diagnosed with autism when they're young, right? But did you know that when they turn 18, they're still autistic, right? It doesn't go away when they turn 18. Kids diagnosed with autism grow up to be adults diagnosed with autism every single time without fail. And if we know that to be fact, like that is just fact, why is it that supports and services die off after the age of 18? Like, like kids who needed supports and services before they turn 18 may still need services and supports after they turn 18. Like it's not, it's not rocket science. I don't understand why this is such a hard concept for people to grasp. Uh, our society is not set up to accommodate people after they turn 18. Like, like it somehow magically disappears and they no longer need supports and services. When in reality, they are transitioning into their adult lives, which makes them very vulnerable. And, and they need the supports and services and resources and accommodations, sometimes more than ever, as they are learning to adjust to their adult life. So this April, instead of bickering over colors and symbols and everything else, let's just help people understand the basics. And it doesn't get any more basic than that. Kids diagnosed with autism grow up to be adults diagnosed with autism. Pass it on. See ya. He couldn't have said it better. Kids diagnosed with autism become adults diagnosed with autism. The diagnosis doesn't magically disappear because they're 18 now. Even when they, they're older, they need support and they need help. And all of that just disappears, which leaves you, the parent, in limbo. And then they still don't have any type of um, living structure set up for them. They want you to take that too, even in debt. So, you as a neurotypical person, you have your child and some of them leave the nest as 18, 21, 22, but they'll leave the nest. We as special need parents, our kids do not leave the nest. We have to take care of them until we die and even in death. Let that sink in. We're going to the first commenter. First commenter says, literally so scared for the future. Something has to change. I agree. Next commenter, because government is greedy, they know that the child may never have to pay tax all their life. Mm. Next, the regional center helps them even after 18. Not all states have regional centers. Correct. Next commenter, I was told to sign up now for services that are available when he is an adult because the wait in list is 10 plus years old. I was told that too and I signed my son up when he was 10 years old on the now comp waiting list. Yes. Next commenter, not looking forward to that transition. With my daughter, I have to get her reevaluated yearly in order to have insurance cover her ABA. Like, is it magically going to disappear? Next, so they stop services after school is completed, but as an adult, they're able to receive services outpatient through rehabilitation centers. Next commenter, do you have a Department of Vocational Rehabilitation where you live? They help with so much. For my followers out there, please check into that if you have older, especially kids. Next commenter, another issue is if you don't catch their autism young, it is harder to get the diagnosis they need. My son is 11 and we are still trying to get him diagnosed. Yeah, because now it's running rampant. The... It used to be one in a couple of thousand. Now that number went way down. So this video was taken from this TikTok page and handle. He's an amazing dad with amazing content. Go ahead and give him a follow. Let me know in the comment section below. How you do you struggle to get services? And if you have a special need child that's an adult now, what are services like? And what do you use to get services? All right. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.